hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design an invoice using photoshop so let's get started here i'm using a5 paper size so now let's begin bring your guideline then position them at five percent then here again and the bottom okay so in this tutorial we are not going to rush we are going to take it gently so that you will understand it properly because we are going to use guidelines in this tutorial now copy the headline Then come back again to copy and paste the address. Then copy again. Then you paste again. Control V. Now I'm going to arrange them. Reduce the font size. Then also position this one and reduce the font size. Change the font to Oswald. Make it bold. Then change the color to red. Then also change this color to red. Then drag it up here. Reduce the font size. Then open the character space a bit. Then you position it over here. Then I will reduce the font size. Now the company name increase the font size. Okay. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl D to deselect. Then you bring it down. Then select this tool and use your arrow key turn to bring it down. Position it at the center. I'm going to delete it. Then select your rent angle again. Then you draw a rent angle over here. Then change the color to red.
take it up then copy the text control c to copy and control v to paste then i'm going to copy this telephone number then i'm paste it over here then reduce the font size now reduce the font of this one then you take it up over here okay now change the color to white then change the font to oxford allow it to load then make it bold then you scale it this way hold your shift key then you bring it down now scale it again all right then change the color of this one to black then you take it up here You know, then position this guideline over here then click on this invoice then use your arrow key then to bring it down okay you can see the guideline there then i'm going to bring another guideline again Then you leave it at that position bring another one again then you leave this guy line at this position then bring another guideline again and place it over here then bring more guideline then place this one here then you take this one down over here so now i'm going to draw a rectangle over here follow the guideline then remove the fake color and apply stroke select black color then and increase the size to two pieces then select your red angle again then use your guideline then you draw over here then it's okay leave it at this position then do the same thing again remove the fake color then apply stroke and the size then you input two Then hold your shift key then to drag it like this
Now I'm going to select a line, draw a, a line over here. Select the layer, then apply your stroke and the size two pieces. Okay. Remove the fit color. So you can see. Then I'm going to draw another line again over here when you drag it down then you drop it at the end of this front angle then off the fake color then you apply your stroke just as you are doing Then draw another line here again down to this guideline. Then you drop it, select the layer, then remove the fill color, then apply stroke, then and increase the size by two pieces. Okay. Then I'm going to draw another two more lines. Drag it over here. Then you do the same thing. Then duplicate the line, Ctrl J. Then drag it over here, hold your shift key while dragging so that it will be in straight line. Then I'm going to draw another line again, horizontal line. Then apply the same color and stroke. Remove the fill color. Then input two pieces for the size of the stroke. Then this red angle here, I'm going to apply a red background. Then reduce the fill color. Then you will have something like this. Now, draw more lines. Use your guideline. Then two pieces. Then another vertical uh, horizontal line. Now I'm going to draw more lines here to the last end. 
So I will be fast forward here. Okay, we are done. So we have our horizontal line now. So the next thing now, I'm going to draw. Sorry for that. I'm going to draw a rectangle on the top here. It's okay. Then remove the fill color, then and you apply your stroke and the pieces input to now duplicate this rent angle control J. I'm going to turn off this one then to move the upper one. Then drag it over here. Then turn it on. You can see now. Okay, we have to rectangle now. Okay. On this one, I'm going to reduce the size. Then bring it down. By holding your shift. So as you can see, I'm following the guideline so that it will be in straight line now i'm going to draw a line over here then another line over here again then input two pieces for the stroke and black color for the outline then do the same thing to this one again all right then i'm going to draw another line again okay Now I'm going to copy the name here. Select your test to come over here, then you paste. Now reduce the size. Then Ctrl J to duplicate the test. Then here is your address. Then click on the line there. Then you reduce it a bit. All right. Then I'm going to copy this one again, Ctrl C, then duplicate this address, Ctrl J, then move it over here, place it at the top, then you paste it, Ctrl V. Then copy the date, then duplicate this one, 
then you bring it in then and you paste ctrl v then i'm going to duplicate it again ctrl j drag it down then you copy this text here come down and paste it okay now draw a line over here hold your shift key so that you can make a perfect line then input to then ctrl j to duplicate it then you drag it up over here so we are done with that one now copy this test again then duplicate this one ctrl j then drag it over here then you paste use your arrow key then to move it forward to the center then ctrl j to duplicate it then bring it over here Ctrl J again to duplicate it. Then you position this one over here. Highlight it. Then you Ctrl V to paste your test. Then continue to duplicate it like that. Then copy. And paste. then move it to the center by using your arrow key then i'm going to copy this one again ctrl c then duplicate this one then drag it to the top over here then light it and ctrl v to paste now i'm going to copy this letter n for Naira, then bring it down, then paste it, then copy this one, K for Kobo, then you drag it over here, then Ctrl V to paste it. Now I'm going to select this end, then click on this strike through then you will see a line at the middle of it now drag it to the center here now again duplicate that test then drag it down position it over here then you copy this letter then ctrl v to paste apply the same strike through to get a line okay so 
now copy these words duplicate this test then highlight it and contribute to paste then remove the boldness now change the font to time romance then use the italic remove that boldness all right now select this line tools again hold your shift key to draw a perfect line drag it over here then select a black color and increase the size by two pieces then position it like over here so that there will be space Now, draw another line here, then do the same thing again, then duplicate Ctrl J, then you drag it to the end over here. Now, duplicate this one, Ctrl J, then bring it to the middle over here. Highlight it, copy these words Naira and Ctrl V to paste it. Now drag this one close, then and you drag this one back. Okay. So now duplicate this one again, then you drag it over here, then and you type Kobo. Then we are going to draw another line again. Sorry. Hold your shift key. Then you draw a perfect line. Then input black on the stroke. Then on the size two pieces. Then duplicate it again, then you drag it to the end. Then duplicate this letter. Then come to copy this test here. Then control V to paste. Duplicate it again, then you drag it over to the center here. Then you copy this one, then paste it here, Ctrl V, then break it into two, then close the space a bit. Now use your arrow key then to move it up.
then you drag the duplicates over here then you copy the last test then select and then you paste so this is how to design an invoice using photoshop once again thank you so much for watching please kindly remember to like share and comment about this tutorial thanks